I, Braintech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that the broken SSD saga is continuing. And it seems that nobody is wanting to take blame for the issue. But a quick recap. Apparently, according to reports, this update 5062660 and this update 5063878 on Windows 11 24H2 were reportedly breaking SSDs and causing corruption and data loss and so on. Now, the video I posted yesterday was regarding Fasten publishing its findings regarding the reported issue. Because Fasten is responsible for a lot of the controllers found in these different SSDs that are reportedly breaking. And as mentioned, Fasten said no corruption could be reproduced. Check the video out, it'll be linked. So Fasten is not taking responsibility. And now, it seems that Microsoft is also washing its hands of this issue. And just a recap quickly from Microsoft's side, as I've posted on previously. Microsoft said it was going to investigate. And now Microsoft has come to the conclusion that it has nothing to do with the problem. And over on its admin portal, and as spotted by Neo, and I'll leave the article linked, Microsoft has this to say, and I'm quoting, After thorough investigation, Microsoft has found no connection between the August 2025 Windows Security Update and the types of hard drive failures reported on social media. As always, we continue to monitor feedback after the release of every Windows update and will investigate any future reports. So at the end of the day, both Microsoft and Fasten, who are both key players, have now so-called washed their hands of this issue, saying that the issue is not their problem. So at the end of the day, whose problem is this actually? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd be interested to hear. And obviously, if I get any more info, good or bad, just to keep us all on the same page, I will post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.